Sowing the seeds of socialism. All right, so what does that mean? Well, what's going on is, is while some things may seem victories, understand that these people are smart, they're not dumb. What they're doing is, is they're creating these insane things that are gonna, it's gonna sow the people out across the United States as socialism. All right, not only the legal migrants that are coming here that, that were in their other countries at a level of tyranny, maybe not like, you know, things that are here, but what's here is way better to them than what was there. In other words, your shed in your backyard was a house, a mansion to them in the countries that they're coming from. And you might think, oh, it's a good thing to come here. No, you don't bring people here to put them in the shed and make them think they're living in a mansion so you can control them and control our money. Same thing with all these states like California and New York. It's good to go and we're winning battles, but if you're fleeing them states, don't bring your weed seeds to somebody else's garden. Don't leave your place because these tyrants are running you out because they keep advancing, advancing, advancing because what they're doing is deliberate. They want to sow these seeds of socialism all across America. Okay, and they're doing it through immigration. They're doing it through these absurd, crazy things. If you say in your mind, this is these people are stupid or they're dumb, you're wrong. That's got to stop. You got to understand that that is their intent and goal because all of it started somewhere. So somebody that might not agree with with the absurdity of the government being able to tell you what to do with your kids and like like the government says, hey, you know, they should be allowed to transgender or take hormone therapy and not tell you and put them in binding brawls and, and whatever that, uh, the, the tuck pants, panties, or whatever the heck that is. It's crazy and absurd, but understand, they know that. They know that that's absurd. So they're pushing and pushing because they want to sow them people out of that state into the inland states or any other places of conservative values. And then they're going to start their whole thing again. Those weeds are going to grow wherever you're at. So don't be a fertilizer to the weeds and think and buy into it. They're coming here and they're going to plant their weed seeds. It's going to grow into the absurd things you see going on around the world and in other states and within our own states and if you are leaving those states to come there don't be a weed in them people's places stand your ground wherever you're at you you voted for that now vote it out of there keep the people in check that goes for all sides it isn't one side or the other Vote these rhino Republicans if you're a Republican. Vote these, these insane leftists out of your party. Be American. That's what Americans are. Americans don't flee. Okay, I get it. People should be able to go and, and all that. You're a free nation. Okay, but that, that right there is buying into the sentiment that they know that people are going to be like. Be happy about the victories. But, but if you flee, in my opinion, personally, you're a coward. Don't leave your state. Stand your ground. Take your state back. Earn it. Earn where you're at. That's what Americans do. Because this is being done deliberately. Just like that bull crap that they did in Colorado and Maine with trying to take Trump off the ballot. I don't care if you're for Trump or not. They knew that wasn't going to fly, so but they did it because they're at a point that it created an effect. It, it was a magnet to the people that they want, and it was a, a flight mechanism for the people that they don't. And so, therefore, they're achieving what their intent is. Don't be fooled. Don't be a freaking weed in somebody else's garden. Don't be fertilizer for the seeds that are coming unless they're going to grow into the things that you want them to. They come here, they have to understand. They come to your place to understand that this is what it is and that you're not going to back down. So they don't like their kids' junk being cut off in school without you being said, but they still think you shouldn't own guns. They don't even in their mind understand it because they've been propagandized since they're kids. That's why it's going on right now. The propaganda has been going on for decades and decades, centuries really. This is all the same bullshit. Different times, different places, all the same thing. Mao did it in China. Stalin and Lenin did it in Russia. That's how they incorporated communism there. They sent people in to take people's houses and land and, and all that. And then they came in and killed them. Do not do that. 
stand your ground. We are Americans. That's it. We're not left and right, and, and we are, but that's just a division. Don't be on the side. Be American first. Unite under that. Otherwise, they're going to destroy everything that you know. That's about all I have about sowing the seeds of socialism. That's what's going on. Be proud of those victories, but also understand that they're well aware. Everything that they do has a win-win type scenario for them. And they know that they're pushing people out. They know that they're making socialized people that are dependent on the system in their states and all that. They're pulling out the lands and getting the lands from other people that they want. They're getting the people that they want to cater to them and all the rest of them they don't care. They're going to get them so on the, the drug of socialism and, and the handouts and things like that and then they're going to pull the rug out from under them and kill them all off. They know that and understand it. And you better too. It's a new form of slavery. That's what they're doing. The cars that they're giving in New York, they own the places that those people are going to be allowed to spend your taxpaying money that goes back to them. They're filtering your money through people. Money laundering through people. And just like the military industrial complex, I'm a Marine, they did the same thing with that. They charge American taxpayers for a thousand missiles, but they only send 20 just to make it look like they've used your money appropriately. Same thing they're doing these people. They ask for $10,000 a person, they give them a thousand, and then they take 9,000 from you. And that's why they become richer. Wake up America, socialism doesn't work. It only works for the elitists. Everyone, so many more people are gonna die from it. We're American strong, United as America. We are the last spot. There ain't nowhere to, to flee to anymore. With that, good luck, Godspeed, Semper Fi, Tufelhunden, Devil Dogs. We're the most ferocious people on the planet when we need to be. And they've destroyed that mentality and they've reduced us down and now they think it's time. We need to let them know it's not. We're here, we're American, we're American strong. Because regardless of what side you're on, if you think you're gonna be in the middle, you're gonna be put on a side by one of the sides. Plain and simple, we're gonna crush everything in the middle. Take care, love you, bye.